Welcome to The Journey. Today we'll be talking about the best home businesses with low startup costs. You may have been wanting to start your own home-based business for some time. Ooh, now with yeah. the power of the internet, it's easier than ever to start one. Yeah, in your pajamas. So we're gonna be talking about four different categories. First, writing. Ooh, I love writing. You could be a freelance writer. A poet. <laughs> editor, blogger, or even self-publish your own Kindle book. Oh yeah, and I heard you can earn up to 70% of the royalties, you guys. Lucrative. <laughs> so Emma, if you were to write a book, do you know what you would write about? Ooh, way to put me on the spot. Um, something that I enjoy, something that I know a lot about. Mm -hmm. um, <gasps> vegan cooking, because then I can incorporate pizza and also like, I do it from home all the time. So yeah, maybe it's just vegan cooking. Fast, easy, efficient, fun, and healthy. And I like that. And especially the fact that this is something you know about. All right, so next category, services. You could be a virtual assistant or a social media manager. Ooh, yeah, definitely. I mean, think about that. That's something a lot of people don't wanna do and they know it's important. Mm -hmm. So you offer to do it for them, make some money. And you're saving people time. Yeah. One of the most important commodities, I think, yeah, we all time. have, but never have enough of. Yeah. The virtual assistant, you can schedule people's appointments, you can book things for them, like their travel, mm. get all these things done so that they can actually spend their time being more productive, doing other things. I spend so much time organizing and reorganizing my calendar. Mm. That, like I feel good about what I'm getting done in the day, but I don't know if I'm thinking like, if someone just did that for me and be helped a lot me, more yeah, productive. a virtual assistant, yeah, it'd be a lot more productive. And the great thing is, you can do it from home. You don't even have to leave your couch. Or you can do it from wherever you want. Yeah. We could do it right now. Good. And speaking of working from anywhere, the next opportunity you can have is the data entry. You can do this at home, coffee shops. By the beach. That makes data entry a little more fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, it can be something that's routine, mundane. It's, it's all right. At the same time, you can... Don't have to put a lot of effort into it, but you can also do other things at the same time. Listening to a podcast. Catching some rays. Exactly. And you, believe it or not, we have a video on being a digital nomad. Oh, that's right. Right over here. Next, graphic design or even web developer. Again, something that you can just do from home. Mm -hmm. If you have a love for graphic design and being on the web, these are areas that you can actually jump into. Also, which falls under services, a couple of my friends do this, they're pet sitters or dog walkers. I mean, what a fun job to do. I yes, love animals. I have three dogs. I'm you a have doggy three dad. three dogs? Three dogs. Do you have a pet sitter or a dog sitter? We or? do. While I'm here making these great videos for you all, someone's yeah. watching our pets. So next, event or wedding planner. These are very good if you are savvy at getting things together, being creative, taking charge, making sure that things happen on time and hopefully under budget. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm all about the great party or walking down that aisle one day, but I don't want to plan the whole thing. Throw me a good party, I'll hire you, but I'm just gonna do the falling in love part. <laughs> and it does take away some of that time frustration for planning mm -hmm. from others, along with the budget constraints. Mm -hmm. So you can actually focus on just doing a wedding planning business, or you can open it up to all kinds of events. Yeah. Ooh, and another great one in the services, a private chef or caterer. Mm -hmm. I think about that sometimes just when I'm at home whipping up meals and my friends will stop by that are also like remote and they're like, oh, you should do this like mm -hmm. for bigger. That would stress me out. But for <laughs> anyone else out there who's great at cooking, this is a great service that you can offer from your home if you in fact are skilled in the kitchen. And you can have one client that you prepare multiple meals for. Oh, that's a good point. Or you can have different families that you're serving at different times of the month. Ooh, and another great one that my mom's best friend recently started doing is Ooh. have an Airbnb. Yes. She, you know, lives alone in this beautiful Victorian home. Ooh. It's painted purple. It's got a ton of character. Ooh. I know. My wife's favorite color is purple. Oh, well, if you're ever in Indiana, <laughs> go check out Luann's Airbnb. Um, but anyway, it's a beautiful home, and she so kindly opens her doors for an Airbnb, and she meets amazing people from mm -hmm. all over the world that come through, surprisingly, Indiana, <laughs> crossroads of America. So this is just another great idea. And also, now it reminds me, <laughs> my mom helps out with the Airbnb because she has such a skill set of cleaning. Like this mm -hmm. woman actually likes to clean, <laughs> enjoys it. So she 
helped her best friend with Airbnb with that skill set of just, hey, I like to clean, so after your guests leave, I'll handle that. Nice. Next category, selling. Now, if you are really creative and you can make things with your hands and it's very unique, Etsy could be the place for you. And it could give you an opportunity to have an outlet to actually make that income from home. Can you make anything? No, I cannot. Nothing? Nothing. I'm trying to think what I would do. I could paint you a picture. But I can make these videos. Yeah. Ooh, Sam, here's another one of my favorites. Ooh. Online consignment. Mm. Oh my gosh, you could go just through your own closet or your parents and find some <laughs> old gems that you could sell for money. Also, you could go and actually thrift you know, find that great mm. leather jacket or that designer shirt or shoes and then put it online. There's a ton of apps to sell. Used clothing, consignment, high fashion. Yeah, offer up, you can go mm. on Facebook Marketplace and even offer your items there as well. And if you are pretty good in the kitchen, similar to that private chef and caterer, you can also sell your baked goods online. This is something great to do because a lot of coffee shops, they don't actually bake their own goods. Oh, that's a great point. When I worked at a coffee shop, we had a cabinet of donuts to mm. scones to mm. bagels, and they all came from other people or businesses. Right. Yeah. A lot of these businesses use other vendors to supply them with these baked goods. And last category, teaching. Ooh. You could be an online teacher or a tutorer. It gives you a lot of flexibility, and it's mm -hmm. definitely in demand. You can be teaching others that don't have English as their first language, you could teach them English. True. Have you ever taught something? I did. What'd you teach? Math. How was that? Hated it. Hated it. Next, you can actually create online courses. Oh, good point. Everything that we just talked about. Yeah. Baking, graphic design, blogging, whatever you are good at, you can make a video and instruct people on how to do it. That's very true. And I love that. I like taking in a lot of information, skills, <laughs> from the privacy of my home, mm -hmm. on my couch. I want to learn another language that way. I don't want to go out somewhere. Give me an online course. I'm a millennial. My wife is actually a fitness instructor and she's able to do a lot of different things that she's passionate about, either working in a gym or even having your own clients on mm -hmm. the side. Didn't she like pick up a client when she was here? She did. And you guys live in Austin, Texas. We We're do. in Kirkland. She picked up, okay, just checking. <laughs> Thought that happened. It gives you a lot of flexibility. You mm -hmm. don't have to be local to one area, but you can do it wherever. There's parks that you can actually work out in. There's people's homes, like we said before. You can go and actually have different classes or personal instruction there. Mm -hmm. I've done some yoga classes that way. Yeah, so like I decided in 2019, mm -hmm. it's the year of the hamstrings. I was like, oh. Yeah, I want to work on my handstrings and I want to focus on it, but I want to just do it from the privacy of my home and not spend a ton on membership. So I watch online, mm -hmm. like little videos, classes, oh. if you will, on how to do this. Next is music teacher. Can you play an instrument? No, I cannot. Can you sing? No, I cannot. Okay, carry on. <laughs> so on that same note, get it, carry on. Nope. Get sing. But anyhow, <laughs> if you know how to instruct people to play an instrument, this is something you can do. Or if you know how to give voice lessons, People help people sing, like myself, carry a tune. Mm -hmm. That's also something you can. You can go to nonprofits like churches, or you can go to schools, teaching elementary, you know, oh, kids. A lot of parents love to get their children involved in those things. Yeah. They're looking for someone that can spark that creativity in that young child's life. Yeah, that would really help my karaoke game. Oh, yeah. Some voice lessons. So in order to get a lot of this started, you can join freelance websites like mm. Upwork, Fiverr, Guru, freelancer.com, there'll be a great opportunity because you already have people there looking for services, so you might as well use it to market mm -hmm. yourself. So that's a wrap. Today you just learned the best home-based businesses with low startup costs. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh, also be sure to ring that bell so you are the first to know when we have another video coming out. Thanks for watching. This is The Journey. See you next time.